peanut butter dreams and chocolatey gleams. Rich, Rich and creamy stout. stout. Oh, what a treat. Reese's and stout make the pairing complete. Sip and savor, taste the, the delight. delight. Nutty and roasted flavors take flight. Beer smooth bubbles cut through the sweet. Balancing chocolate and peanut butter heat. Nibble on Reese's, sip the stout foam. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Halloween, Halloween, this is Halloween, this is Halloween. Together they make good taste buds at home. Dark stout, sweet treat in the dead of night. It's a spooky pairing that's just right. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Again. Today we have the Imperial Peanut Butter Nitro Milk Stout from Left Hand Brewing Co. out of Longmont, Colorado. This is not for the faint of uh, dairy intolerant or anyone with peanut allergies because it's packed full of both. 10.7% um, should be roasty, marvelous, and delicious. If you heard me say it, you heard it right. It's a nitro, pour it hard, nothing better than that. Cascade, my friendly effervescent bubbles, cascade. <laughs> I can smell how boozy it is from here. 10 points on yeah, I can smell it. Oh, that's so roasty and rambunctiously marvelous. We're going to revel in the stouty stuff. So we have the classic and according to Google, top trending Halloween candies, the all time favorite, the Reese's peanut butter cup. The crowd goes wild. Second place, the Kit Kat. Kit Kat, those crunchy vanilla wafers shrouded by milk chocolate wonderfulness. And then of course, the Twizzler. Uh, if you like Twizzlers, get the hell out. I love a good Twizzlers and I'm not afraid to take down a bag by myself. So this is going to be our out of left field. This is our outlier, strawberry fruity. It's gonna totally send the opposite flavors of everything that the Nitro Imperial Peanut Butter Stout is. Here we are with the big bad Imperial Peanut Butter Nitro Stout. And it's a boozy one, I'm here to tell you. Mm. Big notes of peanut butter on the nose, but we're pairing it with a Reese's peanut butter cup. You're thinking peanut butter on peanut butter. I'm thinking the same thing. I'm thinking it's peanut butter overload. But because this is an imperial milk stout, the lactose comes through, makes it a little bit creamer. But it's a 10.7% beer. It's boozy. It's lighting me up from the inside. But those notes of peanut butter in the nose, now with the peanut butter in my mouth. I mean, this is a peanut butter chocolate pie. You don't wanna miss. It's not bitter or anything. It's just subtle roastiness. Delightful. All right, so Liz always gets the perk of going first on these so that I have to try to like sound more clever, uh, which is gonna be tough because she was kind of on fire on this one. But this, this, I, I have my hunches based on the, the smells and everything of this beer ahead of time. So let me, let me dive in on this. <laughs> um, take a drink again on that. Okay, so this is exactly what I was hoping because when I tried the beer, like Liz brought up, it's like 10 and a half percent. So it's really, really hot. You get a lot of the heat from that alcohol going on. And I was kind of disappointed with the lack of peanut butter on the mouth. I didn't really taste a lot of it. It's so overwhelming on the nose, but I'm not getting a lot of taste. You throw this in, now you're getting just that overwhelming peanut butter all the way through. So you're getting it hit with the nose and then you get to finish it with more peanut butter in. So again, if you're not into peanut butter, this pairing sucks. But if you like peanut butter, this is like awesome together. Uh, and I like having that extra little bit because uh, it doesn't finish bitter. It doesn't kind of, it doesn't have that metallic that sometimes porters and stouts can get that like for me, I really dislike. Um, but it wasn't finishing in that peanut butter sweetness like I was getting off of the nose. Like it was, this is, this is now allowing it to finish off as powerful in the peanut butter as it was on the nose. 
And, you know, if we talk about visuals, I really got together. It's black and brown, but that's fine. Nothing that, that pretty special about it. But uh, I also think the butter is cutting through some of the heat on it because Reese's are so buttery. Uh, so it's, it's kind of diluting that heat down a bit, which is nice because drinking on its own, I was like, whew, I, I could feel it the second I took a drink. Lots of my Reese's peanut butter. I'm back with a cat, and this cool cat is a Kit Kat. And Kit Kats are chocolatey vanilla wafers, milk chocolate with little bits of crunchy goodness. Nougats. Mmm, nougat. So like I said, peanut butter's on the nose on this one, but there's big hints of chocolate in it. So what we want, or we assume is gonna happen, is the chocolate's gonna pop that chocolate. And indeed it does. Almost brings out a subtle vanilla flavor at the very end. Probably the lactose that's getting us there. But the roastiness is kind of at the edge because it's not really roasty. It's just more boozy than anything. Brings this almost caramel-like effect to it. It's really good, creamy, delicious, totally different than peanut butter on peanut butter. It's more caramel, smooth chocolate delight. Now we're going with the Kit Kat, which is my favorite candy, if I'm being honest. Uh, and an odd pairing with Kit Kats is actually whiskey. Whiskey and Kit Kats go together really, really, really well. If everyone give it a try, just feel free to give me a shout out and thank me for how awesome of a recommendation that is. But this time we're doing it with the beer. Uh, and I'm actually the most excited about the little nougat in the middle, seeing what it does to the beer here, because doesn't have that peanut butter, so we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's focus a lot on the chocolates and the milk chocolate, which is great. But why I like Kit Kats is because of the nougat. The nougat to me is giving it like, have you ever done a s'mores with a Reese's peanut butter cup? It's giving me that graham cracker vibe with it. And so you're getting extra sweet. And if you also, if you haven't done the s'mores, you can tag me and thank me for that as well. The s'mores with the Reese's is great. Um, but it's giving me that graham crackery, uh, same kind of thing. It's finishing out the end of that beer. It's cutting through some of that uh, warmth and kind of giving it a bigger flavor at the end uh, versus just kind of like the stout, a little bit of the roast, not a little bit, the stout and the roastiness and uh, the heat at the end. This is kind of giving it that sweeter finish to finish out how sweet the, the nose is. So I actually really like how this pairs. I like it a little bit better than the peanut butter because uh, it's not just so overwhelming on peanut butter. It's like adding a whole nother depth and new flavor to the whole thing. And it makes it taste like a whole different candy bar and beer. One of my favorite things to do while eating a Twizzler is just as you see, what I'm doing right now. It's almost like this essence of feeling smart with a Twizzler, like holding a pen in your hand or maybe reminiscing about those times you used to smoke a pack of Marlboros. Anyway, Twizzlers are full of strawberry chewy delight and we're pairing it with an Imperial peanut butter stout. Bet your ass we are. Peanut butter, chocolate, boozy, low roast, creamy nitro with strawberry. I know what you're thinking. I just replaced my protein smoothie. Me too. All oh, right. Yeah. It's like adding little strawberry goodlets into your protein smoothie. Imagine that, all those peanut butter flavors. It's smooth, it's so boozy. It almost really cuts through that booze. You don't super notice it. Peanut butter is still heavy in the nose. The chocolate is excellent with the strawberry and the strawberry is just popping at the very finish. You're just breathing strawberry. Imagine this, it's Neapolitan ice cream without Neapolitan ice cream. So though Liz is correct, it is fun to wiggle it around. <laughs> I can get the fuck out of here because I don't really like Twizzlers that much. <laughs> Liz will be finishing this whole bag on her own. I will not be helping. Kevin will probably help you. Um, personally, I'm really not looking forward to this pairing. Uh, I do not like cherry green eggs and ham cherry or strawberry coated chocolate things. So I don't think I'm gonna like it, but here we are again in a pairing that I'm not expected to like, so. Let's dive in on this one. Oh, I think they're so gross. I'm not looking forward to this at all. 
not as bad as tinfish, but like makes me gag. No. Um. Ah, ah. Wash it down with some chocolate for a second. <laughs> mm mm. What overwhelms you? Um, <laughs> the roasty with this <laughs> with the strawberry, not a fan. Uh, the waxy with the bubbles, not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, the type of sweetness that this is doesn't go with the sweetness of the beer so to me it's just very contrasting I did not enjoy that um, I think it's the waxiness to it but uh, to I had another one for the very end hold it that wasn't good um, I, what I thought was interesting was because it has such a strong peanut butter nose, I was like kind of cautiously optimistic, right? As I was like getting ready to take a drink. So I was like, oh, the peanut butter with this is slightly interesting. And then I got like all the roasty and chocolatey and I was just like, wow. So my mouth didn't enjoy it, but when I had the little bit of the strawberry going on and then I was able to waft in the peanut butter, that actually wasn't terrible. The taste was worse than the taste and smell together. So there we go. So anyways, when you're out and about for Halloween and you're looking for the perfect pairing with your delicious candies, you now know that peanut butter imperial stout is delightful. Would recommend for most, not all candies. Uh, shout out to Left Hand who also won GABF this last year and for the amazing beer. Thanks for uh, getting us a sweet beer to try out with these awesome candies. Happy Halloween! I hope you all have a safe fun holiday!